Hi guys, we're beginning our our unit on radicals. So a radical is anything that has one of these. Okay, the, this is the radical sign, the radicand is the thing underneath, and the index tells us um, what root we're taking. So like if it's a square root, we're looking for what number times itself twice gives us 81. If it were a um, third root, of something we would be looking for what times itself three times would give us um, what's the radicand. So all we're really worried about for our unit for algebra one is square roots. If there's no number here and if it's just like a square root of 81 you're assuming that the index is 2 so we're looking for numbers that multiply by itself to give you 81. <coughs> so you're gonna want to memorize these numbers perfect squares 1 times 1 is 1, okay? So uh, 2 times 2 is uh, 4. So that means that the square root of 4 equals 2, all right? 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. And then I still go through them. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49, and go right up through. 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100, and 11 times 11 is 121, 12 times 12 is 144. Um, you can go higher. Those ones, these ones you should have memorized at least, okay? So... These should be familiar numbers. Now look at if we take the square root of 9, that's the same thing as the square root as 3 times 3. So when we take the square root of 3 times 3, well, the way I'm going to show you is every time you got a pair of numbers, because it's a square root, because it's a 2 here, you take 1 out, so that equals 3. So like the square root of 16 is equal to the square root of 4 times 4. So once you have a pair of 4's, you circle 2 and you take 1 out. That equals 4. And you know that the square root of 16 is 4. All right. So to make this method easier, what we're going to do is first we've got to talk about factor trees or prime factorization. So what that is is just basically writing a number as the product of all its factors. So this is what I mean. I'm going to divide this and break it down I get all prime numbers. So 3 is prime. Nothing goes into 3. This is 3 times 4. This is 4 times four, uh, 2 times 2. These are all prime numbers. So that means that 36 is equal to 3 times 2 times 2 times 3. All right, those are the prime factors. So 36 or these multiplied are the same thing. And we're going to want to break our numbers into these. So like 90 would be... 10 and 9. It doesn't matter how you, you can do 45 and 2, you can break it down. However, you just got to get to prime numbers. That's 2 and 5. This is a prime number. Prime number, you recall prime number means it's only divisible by 1 in itself. Uh, this is 3 and 3. So that's it. 90 is the same as 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. I like to write them in order from smallest to biggest. All right, so let's see how we use that in simplifying radicals. Um, if the radicals are not perfect squares, so like here they were perfect squares. If I do the square root of 16, that's just square root of 4 times 4. So by the definition of square roots, that's just a 4. If they're not perfect squares, we're going to want to use this factor tree. Come on. Um, so that gives us... So 24. 24 is 8 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. So here, and actually circling it helps to, because sometimes these factor trees can get big. So this is the same thing as the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So because we're doing square roots, every time you have a pair of numbers, you circle them and you take one out. 
right? Because we know that the square root of 2 times 2 is just 2, right? So circle a pair, take one out. So that leaves us with a 2 on the outside, and then we still got the square root of 2 times 3. That's all I can take out, so I just simplify the 2 times 3 to a root 6. So there's my final answer, simplified. Here we prime factorize 3 and 9, 3 times 3. So this is equal to square root of 3 times 3 times 3. So then I circle 2. For every 2 inside, there's 1 outside. That gives me a 3 on the outside. And I'm left with a 3 on the inside. Final answer. So 32 is going to be 4 times 8. And this is 2 times 2. This is, right, 8 was 2 twos, or 3 twos. So here we got 2, 2, 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So the square root of 32 equals the square root of 2 times 2, 5 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So every time you have a pair, you take 1 out. So here's a pair, take 1 out. Here's a pair, take 1 out. So that leaves us with a 2 from this, and then a 2 from this pair, and then this 2 is still left underneath. Now I simplify. I'm all done. 2 times 2 is 4, and I got a square root of 2. That's it. So you should try these ones. If you need to pause and go back and look at my other examples, do that. Here are your U tries. Three problems. Now, what if we already have something on the outside. So all we do is I prime factorize, I do the same thing I would do, only I let this 5 tag along. So that's 25 and 3, this is 5 and 5. So this is equal to 5 times the square root of 75 is the same as 3 times 5 times 5. So we've got um, 2, take 1 out, so this 5 is already on the outside. That stays outside. The square root of 3, this stays down here because there's not a pair. And then we took out that 5. So this 5 comes out and is out here. All right, so everything on the outside gets multiplied when you're simplifying your final answer. 5 times 5 is 25. And then just root 3 left. So let's try the 200. It's 102. That's... Uh, 25 and 4, that's 5 and 5, and this is 2 and 2. So this is the same as 3 times the root of <coughs> 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, right? 3 2s and 2 5s. So now we're going to circle a pair of 2s, that comes out. Circle a pair of 5s, that comes out. And then we're left with... Uh, just the root 2 underneath. And this 3 was there in the beginning, being multiplied in the beginning. So we have to still keep it multiplying in the beginning. Now to finally simplify, we 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 2 is 6 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 root 2. All right, now 24. That's 8 and 3. And that's uh, 2 and 4. And that's our prime factorization of 24 is 3 2's and a 3. So it's equal to 1 half times root 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And what I'm going to do is circle my pair of 2's. That comes out. There's just only 1 2 left and 1 3 left, so that stays in there. So I have a 1 half from here. And then this 2 came out, so that's times 2. Now I simplify completely. On the outside, I multiply them. 1 half times 2 is just 1. On the inside, I multiply them. 2 times 3 is 6. So 1 root 6 or just root 6 is fine. So 56. Let's get a different color here. We got 8 and 7. And then this is 2 and a 4 and a 2 and a 2. So this is 1 third times square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. So I've got a pair of 2's 
and just one two left and one seven left that's all I got so I have one third still being on the outside multiplying a two from this pair here and I'm left with a two times seven underneath so one third times two is just two thirds and then root 14 2 times 7 is 14. All done. So these are your U-tries as well. I want you to do these four problems, which are just like the problems I just did, and do these four problems, or three problems, which are just like the slide before. So here and there are your U-tries.